Greetings and welcome back to Damperton, where Mr. Lazy Kim gone a bit berserk and has passed out. Well done, Mr. Lazy Kim. I approve. Ah, oh, I'm very well done, Bad Blanket. You're burying people. I doubly approve of this. They may have invaded us, but at least they didn't try to harm our animals. There is that. Though uh, our wags are having a bit of issue with meat. Okay, that is that is actually really, really bad. Uh, we are going to want a bunch of things butchered. Hunt down these animals. And the last elephant on the map. No, nope, that is also on the map. Okay, let's take these out. We've got another herd of muffalo down there. I don't want our bugs to perish because they lack meat. That would that would genuinely make me sad. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of people set up, soldiers and brawlers. We could go ahead and set up one or two more people with hunting now. Willow, um, I'm not particularly keen on you doing that, but a worthy or Archibald and Tamiz, you're pretty strong as far as this goes down. I'm going to set that up as a one. Research can be one, and then cleaning can be on a two. That does reduce one of our cleaners a little bit. Um, I'll increase the priority of Moss doing cleaning. I would also add Bad Blanket to hunt as well. Let's uh, get your priority down to two. So you'll hunt instead of hauling, but you will still clean ahead of hunting. Okay, that's a bunch of people now who should be able to go out and get us a, a bit of meat. And finally, the last little bit of work being done on this room. Now, I was going to build this in sandstone, but honestly, given everything, I think it might be better if we just use marble. So, we're going to go ahead and set this up. Initially, I'm not going to put in the temperature management, but eventually that is the plan. Uh, and then we can draw this out along here as well. Uh, we could have... Hmm. That would be the middle of it. So we would want the door right around there. There we go. So this will be an entrance into our farms then. So we're going to want flooring paved tile right there and ultimately we're going to need a, a fairly good battery bank for running the farms I feel the farms are going to need a dedicated power supply of, of considerable size um, initially I think we've probably got a decent amount of meals right now no we, we really don't we need more meals quite a lot more well, that is kind of annoying, but... How many fine meals have we, have we got going? We're trying to cook up to 20. That is going to take some time. Especially if we don't get some elephants up here soon. Are there any elephants around? Well done, Tamiz. We need this element, elephant sling. Right. How are we doing up there? We've got a power armor. Oh, I really wish that had been brought in a bit earlier on. Uh, and I'm being stubborn by not forcing them to bring it in. I should have had them bring that in as a priority. But I just... Oh, Lazy Kim, the, the worst person to try burying anything, or doing anything really. I mean, let's be honest, Mr. Lazy Kim, you... Pretty poor specimen, let's just put it that way. Um, well, one thing we could do with the batteries for the... This area here is we could have the batteries lining the walls along the outside. Let's have a quick look at how much power that would allow us to store. Uh, it wouldn't quite be symmetrical. That is a shame. That said, we could have the, ba the batteries along that wall with a, a switch there. Hmm... And the batteries down that wall with another switch. In fact, actually, I like that idea. Uh, oops. Let's get rid of that. And then have an array of batteries that'll run our farm with a switch right there. Because we don't actually need it to be 
some really complex system. We can get by by doing this. Uh, I could have a switch down here as well, allowing the batteries to hook up to another system. Though, realistically speaking, I feel that perhaps we wouldn't really want it to hook up to this system specifically. Um, I could strip this wall away, replace it with, well, replace it with wood again, really. Get rid of the conduit going along there and then have a separate switch so that the power could feed in here and then feed back out if need be. I kind of like that idea. So let's get a lot of battery power for our farms. Because from what I recall, the, the lights use a tremendous amount of power. I could be wrong with how much power exactly they use. And if I am, well, you know, there's not a lot I can do about it. Uh, there we go. That should be good enough. Then we'll we just get all of that replaced with some wood there. Hello, Keegan. Thank you very much. Just chopping them down with his crazy berserker fists. Remove all of that as well. Now, while that's set up, this room isn't managing its temperature particularly well. Well done. Get all of that pulled up. Wonderful. And then we want to put back in wooden walls all the way up and across. We want to keep the aesthetic of this little area. Uh, next up, ooh, broken berserk. Mr. Lazy Kim has gone berserk. Well, that's just rubbish. But also, probably not that dangerous, realistically speaking. Mr. Lazy Kim is armed. But it's probably going to take so long to get close enough to someone to actually fight with them that he's going to pass out long before then. Oh, no, actually, Raymond. Raymond. No. Raymond, move move away from Mr. Lazy Cum. Don't want you playing with him. He's a naughty person. But you can go and do something else. If I have to have... Uh, I really don't want to have to have uh, Keegan deal with Mr. Lazy Kim, but I kind of feel that we're going to need it. Uh, okay, Keegan. Go deal with Mr. Lazy Kim. Watch Keegan's health. He's got a cut. And Mr. Lazy Kim. Quite a lot. Three power claw scratches to the torso and a scratch to the left leg. Extreme pain. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad. But we really needed to get Mr. Lazy Kim. Because, I mean, Mr. Lazy Kim does have a fairly potent weapon. Maybe I should just have Mr. Lazy Kim not do anything. But... Uh, I feel rough about Mr. Lazy Kim's situation, honestly. Right, no longer incapable of walking. Hurrah! That is good. Group of travelers is here. That is also good. What would be especially good right now would be if we could get those walls built. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen easily. Is that what you're up to, Willow Tower? No? Grabbing some meat. Well, I don't quite approve, I will be honest with you. What are you up to, Keegan? Your cut is gone. It looks like you're carrying around some extra steel. We do actually want to replace this. There we go. Now, hopefully... Is Keegan going to work on that yet? No, Keegan's going to continue work with a marble, which I suppose is fine. Now then, that is currently just running straight in there. We could, and in fact, we should run the main power up in this way direction. Though perhaps we could run it through a wall, and then along. That would probably be the ideal solution there, to connect it up to these batteries. Right, how's everything going elsewhere? We've got Raymond and Willow Terra asleep. Uh, you know, it isn't too bad. We're not really moving much stuff in. To me, is there anyone around that we can... No, there isn't. 
I would really, really quite like it if we could sell some of this random junk we've got lying around. Uh, sooner rather than later, if I'm perfectly honest. Well, one thing we can also do is deconstruct some of these beds. So let's actually have a look at these beds. That bed is a six. It is poor, shoddy, shoddy, awful. Wow. Okay, these can just be de deconstructed. We don't want them. Then I will hopefully have Keegan build some new ones. Well done. Let's get that wood out of there. Now we want to have a nice... Well, I guess we could have a steel bed. Am I making silver? I believe I am. Yes, I am. Oops. I guess we're not going to have steel bed. I could give them marble beds. I said, well... No. You know what? Let's not. Let's go with wood. Good old-fashioned wood. Alright, where's Keegan? Keegan, would you please prioritize working on this for me? There we go. Did Keegan finish their work? Yes, they did. And then these ones as well. I don't know if have it, it's the first person who started the work on something that dictates whether it will use their skill or not. But I'm going to force Keegan to do all of this work. As ideally... Oh dear, we're being raided. We're being raided by a group of tribespeople. Oh, wow, okay. But they are approaching from the right direction. Ooh, I approve. Right, Archibald, you're up. I want you there. Where's Tamiz? Tamiz, you are also up. I want you over there. Raymond, uh, well, I mean, you no, you are actually coming along, but I'm concerned that you won't be as useful. Uh, I would like you over there. I'm going to have Keegan get involved later. Right now, I mostly want just our main troops to get in there. Can I get Keegan just by himself? There we go. And finally this one. Right, okay. Have a quick look. Superior, excellent. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Okay, you know what? That's perfectly fine by me. Keegan, you are going to be... Down here, I think. Ready. Okay, this is a big old attack. We've got a lot of guns out here. We may be okay, but we've got two um, visitors. I don't want them caught in the crossfire, but it looks like they may be. Oh no, they're getting involved. You heroes, you. I fear you may be killed, though. I, I am afraid they one of them has died. Uh, Well, well, that could have gone better. Anyone else? Yeah, at least Kim, you can continue doing your thing. Bad will. Religion of the people, who, they are now hostile to us. Oh, no, really? So someone else is going to be attacking us all the time then, I suppose. All right. Get out there ready. Raymond, you hang back because you don't have a shield yet. Please get involved. Just knife them, or rather claw them in the face. Right. Get straight down there. Shadow Wolf. Um, that's who I would like you to attack. Move out, everyone. Okay, that's one is going to go down. Never mind. Oh dear, Shadow Wolf's shield is gone. That is particularly bad. Because Shadow Wolf is in a lot of danger there. Okay, keep on the move, Shadow Wolf. Duck and weave! Duck and weave! Keep ducking and weaving. Okay, you're safe. All is well. Keegan, have you killed them? Yes. Well done, Keegan. Slay more people. Keegan fears no people. We've lost one turret, but that's fine. Oh, and wow, we've also lost the sympathy of an entire group of people, but... 
That's kind of rubbish. All right, Shadow Wolf, get out there, rescue, right, capture, then heal them, and then we'll release them. That is particularly bad. Um, minus 100. Oh, my lord. That is particularly bad. Okay, well, we're going to try and uh, rescue a couple of people and release them, I think. So many bodies. Have we got enough graves? We don't. We really, really just don't have enough graves. Uh, let's set up a bunch more then. There we go. And... Oh, we can set her out over this desert area. Fantastic. I've got a funny feeling that we're going to be using a lot more graves over time. So I'm just planning ahead with all of that. Okay, everyone is no longer drafted. Please still capture them, though. Want to re release as many people as we can. Um, oh, there's one more person that can be released. Moss, could you please sort this out? And at this point, I just flat out don't care about the things that they're wearing. They haven't got any decent gear at, as far as I've seen. Sometimes the clothing is of a fairly high quality, or at least high durability. But generally speaking, not actually that useful to me. Did anyone else perish around here? No? That's fine then. There we go. You're all free. How are you feeling, Keegan? Ah, oh, you got a couple of bruises. But I'm fairly certain you killed two or three people in that raid. By yourself. Very proud. On the plus side, we've got a load of meals. Because invaders tend to show up with their own food. Which I think is very, very decent of them, honestly. Uh, we've got a couple of bows, some spears, anything else I'm missing. I think I have told them to collect everything at this point. Okay, grand. Very happy. Right, let's uh, speed up time a little bit. Now this area should soon be under cover of darkness. All we need is this, and we should be golden. That is going to require metal, though, I believe, to get that flooring done. Alright, at this point, I'm not really intending for them to be... to have any uh, medicine used on them. We'll just patch them up and then release them. They don't really matter enough to me to try and capture, unless some of them have got particularly low difficulty. No, not really. I could sell them into slavery to make an awful lot of money, but eh, no. We'll let them be. Right, hopefully the burying can commence. Hopefully it won't be Lazy Kim who does it, because that'll take a bajillion years. Okay. Now, in all of that craziness, did someone drop by? No. That is a shame. Right, you're fully healed, apparently. Okay, well then, you are to be released. So I'm going to go and release this person. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. I mean, it doesn't need to be right away, but hopefully somewhat soon. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We've got loads of meat up there at this point. Very happy to see that. Okay, that's one person who's been released. You can also be released. Broken Berserk. Ah, oh, Lazy Kim, really? Do you, must you do this? Tamiz will ruin you. Even Raymond could ruin you. Thankfully, everyone can just walk around you because you're so slow. But Oh, well. Okay. Cl Great Cliff people has improved by 15. Goodwill. Relations ha uh, have with the Great Cliff people have warmed. 
They are no longer hostile to you. Uh, see, I naturally doubt the way that I've read something, but in many cases, I've actually read it fine. Okay, well, uh, that's good. The Great Cliff people are no longer to uh, be attacking us. We basically swapped one friendly person for uh, an enemy. Uh, you know, it's not amazing, but it'll have to do for now. We'll slowly be able to bring all the tribes to be our allies, I imagine, if we just work at it. There you go. Be free. Uh, I've got some meat in here. We are going to need a little bit more. Let's go down here and set up one or two people to be, uh, muffalos to be hunted. And, ooh, a male alpaca. Do we have a female? We do. Okay, that's actually worth grabbing then. We'll tame you. You, however, must be hunted. I think that's it for who we're going to hunt. For now, at the very least. Okay, so, if we have a look at our factions now, they're up to 40. Wow, that's actually really good. That's, that's crazy good. I wonder if uh, you drive the faction standing up high enough, they become like a full-on ally. Right, one thing we can do over here is start laying the power lines. But now I guess we can just connect to this. Start charging these batteries. And the same over here, for that matter. And because of that, we'll just run this all the way through. But I'm probably going to have to move everything down by a little bit. I imagine we're going to change this room somewhat. Um, possibly have a battery... Uh, or a switch or something there. Maybe have this a central connection. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! We've got two baby walks! Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't realize we had puppies. Got a male puppy and a female puppy. That's fantastic. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with this. Hopefully, we can uh, tame them fairly quickly. Right, Mr. Lazy Kim is starving. Well, there's not a lot we can do. You're, you're moving too slow. We can't be held responsible for this. Right, well, on that note, on that happy note, I will add... I'm going to wrap up this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.